One of the times that I noticed that Amy was a cheapskate was I came to her house. She asked me, did I want lunch? So I said, sure. She fixed me a tuna fish sandwich. As I'm eating the sandwich, I'm thinking, this is a little fishy. What is this? Mike, lunch is ready. And then I looked on the countertop, and I noticed there were cat food cans that were empty. And I thought, no, she didn't do this. Here, I made you some tuna fish. Oh, great. No, I don't think Amy has actually ever fed anyone cat food, but uh, I wouldn't put it past her to try. Tuna fish for people, 89 cents. Cat food for cats, 59 cents. Mm. I just saved 30 cents. Mm, that's good. Well, right now, uh, I've got some uh, clothes uh, in Ziploc bags. I don't have to put them in the washing machine. It actually kills the bacteria by having them in here. That way, I save on uh, laundry detergent. I save on time. I don't have to use electricity to run my washing machine. I've had clothes since high school. Can you believe that? OK, this is a pair of jeans. OK, this pair here, I bought these 15 years ago. Look at that, like brand new. Yeah, it's like, it's like I just bought them. The average refrigerator uses around 350 kilowatts of electricity per year. By tightly packing his fridge with clothes, cookware, and canned goods, Todd cuts his energy use by nearly 10%. The refrigerator doesn't cycle on as much, and it doesn't produce or uh, consume as much electricity. You just pack up your fridge with uh, anything you can find. I don't care. I don't care that some people might think that some of my habits are over the top now. I mean, I got clothes in my refrigerator, for God's sake. I mean, it's, that's pretty cheap. <laughs> I don't do laundry. You have to pay quite a bit in quarters. So whenever I have dirty clothes, I try to wash them while I'm showering. Today I'm using a free sample of detergent I got. OK, I need to get detergent and bleach onto my clothes before I put them in the shower to soak. Once I'm done showering, then I lather up the clothes. I almost never do laundry. I think the last time I did laundry was um, maybe three years ago. And I start wringing out these clothes. I don't um, use the dryer. Not only does the dryer um, waste money, but it shrinks clothes and it wears clothes out faster. You can keep your clothes looking newer for longer if you don't dry them. Well, normally I would want to do maybe a load of laundry every other week. It costs like $3 to wash and dry clothes. It'll save maybe $6 a month. I used to get my hair cut once a year at a beauty school. And then I decided I would cut my own hair. A former roommate actually left this behind. And that has worked out much better. I have heard that normal people pay $100 for a haircut. Now, that, that is, that's very hard to imagine. I can't believe that. I don't use toilet paper. I just use water and soap to clean myself off after going to the bathroom. I take this water bottle that I have and I rinse myself off. If I just urinated, I'm done with that. And then I dry myself off with one of the paper towels I have. If I took a dump, then I also grab the soap, wipe myself down with the soap. And then I take uh, the water and rinse off the soap. So this is my bathtub. Look at it. It's brand new and shiny. I don't even have to clean it. There's no mildew on my grout, which is amazing. I have never cleaned it because I've never used it. I have a gym membership, and that's where I take my shower. I like to work out. I'm kind of a gym rat. I'm there every day anyway. This is where I deposit my urine. In an effort to save money, I started peeing in a jar. Just. Uh, coincidentally happens to be in a lemonade jar. Quite pungent. And the longer it sits, the stronger it gets. I had read online that you can put your urine into your compost pile. And I thought, wow, I can pee in a jar, build my compost, and not have to flush my toilet. My water bill went from $30 a month to $20 a month. So there's $10 right there. So I pee in a bottle, but don't get me wrong. I, you know, I poop like everybody else, and I put that in a toilet. And so I flush probably one or, one or two times a day. In the Roberts family, saving money means more than careful budget tracking. 
It's reducing costs in every way possible. It just seemed like such a waste to only use mouthwash once when it's antiseptic anyways. There's 30 uses in that big mouthwash and about 30 cents a use. But if I reuse it a second time, that gets it down to 15 cents a use because I'll have 60 uses. Time's up. By keeping the joint speed shower to just two minutes, the parents have sliced their monthly water bills in half. So they've applied this frugal strategy to each and every bathroom ritual. Just use that side on you each year. For cotton swabs, Chris will use one end, and then when she's done, I'll use the other. With the deodorant, we actually share that too, and we're only allowed one wipe per armpit, and so when we do that, it can serve deodorant. We share our toothbrush so we don't have to buy another toothbrush. We're so cheap that we share our tooth floss. There you go. Oh, I think that's quite gross, actually. I think uh, it's floss. It's probably 99 cents. I think you should get rid of it salon owner and I'm throwing this big like bridal party uh -huh. I was thinking if you guys had a couple items you could sell me for a, a bridal party we sell feed and hay and we've had people coming by asking for roosters and hens and goats want to buy goats all the time but never beauty supplies <laughs> The Man and Tail shampoo, a lot of salons actually use that product. So I knew I hit a gold mine. And I found some kitty litter. Clay kitty litter has the exact same ingredients that you would find in a $200 clay face mask. Let's see, it'll be 5, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, heck, I don't know. How about 10, 50? 10, 50? Ooh, that's a little pricey, but OK. If I had gone to the beauty supply store, I probably would have spent well over $100. So it worked out perfectly. Let's get these puppies off here. OK, we're going to get your hands looking great. This is a scrub. This is our famous chocolate fantasy. It's organic. When I was rubbing it in that chocolate fantasy, after a while, it really smelled good to me. Wow, that feels good. Yes. It's our special clay mask, very exfoliating. I'm really glad I came to Palin and Rob's shop. This has been a really great way for me to start off my wedding. I'm always going to be a saver. I think nothing, nothing's probably ever going to change. The first time that I had to dig into a vacuum bin, I was pretty grossed out. Get the quarters, set the quarters. But now, as I keep doing it just about every week, I kind of get used to it. It's become like a second nature to me. The kids love going to the car wash because it's like a treasure hunt for them. Did you find the earring? We have found earphones, jewelry, change, of course, a lot of change. Yeah, there's a mint there. Pick it up, get it. We have found candy. Is it open? No, 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 it's sealed, it's sealed. So it's OK to eat? Yeah. Nicholas, you find the earring? We have been saving coins from car wash bags. The two older kids now, they used to do it when they were little. He'd said, hurry, hurry, get the nickels, get the nickels. Quarters, right there. Like, oh. And then at the end, my dad would just place something there and be like, oh, look, we found it. Let me see. One second. Uh, I think I got it. This is in. Right? Yeah, that's it. We got it, kids. I'm sure. Maybe one day they're going to have their own kids doing this. So we pass the torch to them as they did pass the torch to the little ones now. Nicholas, what's the change? Going to the car wash is like playing the slot because the dollar that I put in, I know I'm going to get it back anyways. My father, he's very dedicated. All he wants is to save money. And I think he does it out of the kindness of his heart. It's just annoying. In the garage of our house, he has a little workstation. It's a little money-saving station. As a family of six, we consume lots of water. Bottled water can cost $1 per bottle. If I was buying bottled water for my family, uh, we're talking more than 100 bottles a week. 
Instead of buying uh, new bottles of spring water, I just keep the old ones and I refill them with tap water from the hose. And then just to create that magic final touch, what I do is I use this non-toxic clear nail polish. So when you open the bottle, it makes that magic clicking sound. So they think that it's brand new. My dad, he thinks we don't notice. I notice right away. Kids fall for it though, it works. It gets me so frustrated thinking that it's a brand new water bottle. It's just, it's a it's something that I, I just struggle with a lot. <laughs> what you got? This is how to take your own tooth out. I think I want you to take my tooth out. This, um, this regular cola. Phosphorus acid in the cola dissolves the rust in the metal. Scrape it off with aluminum foil. Rubbing alcohol will complete the sterilization of these instruments. I'm ready as I will ever be. Karen's dentist would have charged $185 for the tooth extraction, but because she already had most of the supplies on hand, the procedure will only cost $10. Comfortable? Yes. How's your mouth? It's numb. short time <sighs> but saving that money lasts so much longer buying lingerie in the thrift store is a great way to spice things up in the bedroom some people think that shopping at a thrift store for lingerie is gross but you know i don't see anything wrong with it i wonder how many people have worn this thong before and it looks a little crusty too Cute. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's a little big. I see this woman come out of the fitting room in lingerie to each his own. I said, okay, who am I to judge? What in the world? Okay. Oh. <sighs> Honestly, I like that one better than the other one. Would I buy lingerie in a, in a thrift store? Depending on me, no, I wouldn't, sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't buy it. I really like this one. I love that one. Oh yeah. That one's cute. Isn't it? I think that's the best one you've had on. That's really pretty. Yeah, I would take that one. How much is this? The tag's on the back, actually. Oh, I'm okay. not sure. Sure. $2.99? $2.99 is a little out of my price range. So oh, okay. let's say, this is really nice. Oh, it's $3.99, okay. So if I get two of these, if I buy both, would you lower down the price for me? I mean, we, re we really don't do that, but I mean, I guess I could give you like a dollar off coupon or something, if that would work. Dollar off the haggling? I, I wouldn't have gone there. I don't think people should go into thrift stores looking for a bargain and asking for more. 